former orderly queue. This has got a stack of invoices like so in a folder, which is always great to see because you know as soon as that folder comes out, the car is going to be brilliant, well looked after in every respect. And, and this is, it's just as it's come in. I've put a bit of tire slick on it, that's it. It's, uh, it's, got, it's got thick rubber mats and it's also got a brand new set of carpet mats with it. The thick rubber mats have been in protecting it all its life, so it, it is like new. As I say, we've not cleaned it yet. It's a Volvo V50 1.6 D2R design, diesel estate. Um, very, very economical car. Uh, urban 54.3, extra urban 74.3, and combined is 65.7. 0 to 60 time of 10.9 seconds, a top speed of 121 miles per hour out of 113 brake horsepower, eight valve engine only 30 pounds a year road tax and it was last serviced at 69,565 miles and it's done 74,916 now. Um, it's, it was supplied by the same Volvo dealer that serviced it all its life as well. Again, that's always great to see, somebody that's happy with the service they've received over a number of years, uh, bought the car from there and gone back every single year. So it, it's stuff like that, to a dealer um, you, you just can't beat it a proper service book that's stamped and all the invoices as well it's it's fantastic I'll just show you around it it's got um, it's the R design to start off with so you've got the little motif in the grill there aluminium surround we've got high pressure headlamp wash five spoke alloys the uh, aluminium effect back to the door mirrors roof bars, tinted windows. There's also the proper Volvo blind kit inside um, for all these back windows, which just pull off if, if you want to. We've got the side protective mouldings, the sill protective mouldings as well. Electric boot release, plenty of room in the back. Again, it's got a thick rubber a uh, complete load cover inside so all the carpet underneath there is like new as well rear load cover here um, seat split 60 40. there's a, a plastic bumper protector there so um, no scuffs on the top like you see on some and the, the bumper needs painting it's all light new reversing sensors in here rear wash wipe integrated rear spoiler Really nice and comfortable in the back here, plenty of room, nice high seat backrest, three inertia reel belts, we've got the uh, Isofix child seat anchor points. This is the, the kit I was telling you about for the, uh, the blinds in the back, bit of a cut out there so you've got more knee room, uh, just very very nice. You've got the uh, Volvo side impact protection system and I'm assuming that's an airbag there and an airbag there. Nice aluminium door handles. It's contrasty trim. Um, I'm not sure whether it's proper leather or not, but uh, it certainly feels nice. That's kind of a, a sort of suede effect on the back. And uh, there you go. You've got contrast uh, stitching as well. Now I can get out, I'll just take you for a ride in it. We have two of these Volvo keys, uh, as you can see there, there's not really a blade, but having said that, it's uh, keyless go. There's a, a switch on the dashboard here that you just turn if you've got the key in you. When you get out, you can lock the doors. There's just a button that you, you press as long as your key's in your pocket, the car will lock. And when you come back to it, it it'll open as well. Uh, that's gonna rattle in there, isn't it? So I'll just trap it right. Uh, We've got height and reach adjustable steering wheel. And the, uh, the usual Volvo safety mechanisms. This is kind of a double uh, lock 
safety catch there you pull it once and then you can open it with the actual catch so service history here we go proper book done at the garage it was bought from the uh, Tyne Long Garage Limited let's just get uh, here we go 17th to 6th 2012 11,779 miles Tyne Long Garage then 12th of 7th 2013 23,230 at Tyne Long Garage 25th of 7th 2014 at 30 I think that's 33 could be yeah 33,235 Tyne Long Garage Limited then we've got 24th of 7th, 2015 at 42387. Again, Volvo Tynelong Garage. Then over here, five year service. 11th of 7th, 2016, 51,005 or 9, Tynelong Garage. 14th of 7th, 2017, 61287, Tynelong Garage Limited. And then 4th of 7th, 2018 at 69565. Town Long Garage Volvo Limited. So, fully stamped service book. And what's even better than a fully stamped service book is a folder. The nicer colour, the better. Here we've got, and believe me, there's plenty, because as you can see, I've had to go through and redact all the names and addresses on all these invoices. So, everything that's been spent on the car. Where does that go back to? 2012 right the way back to 2012 a Volvo estate with full service history and that's been looked after and that's got all the invoices um, is uh, salesperson's gold let's just see wind that up there's two cup holders there in the center multifunction steering wheel I showed you it's height adjustable we've also got electric memory seats so here we go and that's it that's it. so we'll try memory too so always funny seeing where people sit I sit in a, a strange position for most people but uh, some people I don't know how they drive we've also got the uh, our design embossed seats let's go So nice contrasty seats, black metallic car, and uh, I'd I'd be interested to know if anybody does know how many people that have Volvos buy a different model of car, a different make of car. Sorry, because the person who's had this has just immediately come and bought another Volvo for us with the same colour interior and the same colour exterior, and. Uh, the, I'm, I'm pretty sure that Volvo owners must be the most um, loyal of them all. So we've got a six speed gearbox, nice light clutch. The don't quite feel like Volvo's used to, which was like driving a tank. It's quite a sporty feel to them these days. Nice suspension and steering. control on the left here which I'll try when we get back oh, sorry I'll try when we get on the motorway audio controls here it's got the Volvo radio uh, CD system and the uh, previous owner has had a parrot kit fitted for Bluetooth for hands-free Bluetooth now it will also stream audio which not all the parrot kits do but this one is a really, really good one. I've had one myself in previous cars, and, and they are very, very good. And also on the steering wheel here, you've got the control to answer the phone. Uh, you've also got, you can click on it there. and Bluetooth audio. And I'm pretty sure you can also, it's also 
voice activated um, but uh, I'm not 100% sure how to use that because I, I never use voice activation really Motorway. Hopefully it won't be as eventful as it was on yesterday's test drive where everybody was out to get me. So front central armrest here, cup holders, power socket, nice thick Volvo steering wheel, um, the thumb rest there, that's how you should hold the steering wheel, not with your thumbs through there of course. So there's a little place to rest your thumbs. Got the aluminium inset there, just finishes it off. I think we'll uh, we'll go left here, so I'll tuck him behind these guys. Uh, Tesla up there. I'll show you how to pay your mobile to uh, this parrot kit later and uh, also how to stream audio got a bit of a wheel wobble on this which I think is the front near side wheel I'll have to get that sorted as I always say, that's what these test drives are for. That's something you would never discover on a ramp inspection, really. Unless the mechanic can spin the wheel to 50 miles an hour with his hand. Although the, there was a guy at speeds, big Clemmy, he could probably have done it. At the Mercedes garage. too fast that's one thing with Volvos they, uh, they always seem to give you a false sense of security and you don't realize how fast you're going okay so that's 70 there so let's see I'm assuming that switches it on there we go pull out so the crew that's cruising on and off at the top there and then if we click plus we're just going a little a couple of miles an hour too fast so that's 70 miles an hour in six gear at 2,000 revs just over 2,000 revs just have to slow down too fast again. And the, the thing with Volvo owners, it, it's, it's done by choice. There used to be certain uh, models that if you bought, you could only go back to the same dealer really because nobody else would give you any money in, in port exchange and it, it was a false false economy but the Volvo's are lovely cars really really well designed um, very very safe there's as I've mentioned on Volvo's in the past a lot of cars these days you can't actually see 
the switch gear for the quarter to three position on the steering wheel but here you can just you can see it popping out the side there it's just long enough to pop out the side um, from the steering wheel so you, and also there's little elevated signs there to show you what they're for after a while you, you become used to them of course and it's second nature but when you get in the car it's just comforting to know that uh, you know what all the switches are and what they're for. We've got heated seats here, two position heated seats, the climate control functions here and then radio above. In the dash, speedo on the left, information panel at the top, mileometer and the state of your cruise control whether it's on or off the bottom and then the right hand side rev counter coolant temperature gauge and in the speedo on the left at the bottom is your fuel gauge bit understeery but not too bad proper handbrake. Oddments trays here in the doors. You have just here your electric door mirror switch. Just behind there is the electric window switches, your global lock in and unlock. Headlights. reversing sensors as I mentioned before headlamp wash side protective mouldings also uh, sill protectors which that's uh, actually good to see because you get a lot of gravel rash off the front wheels it, 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 again there's, there's certain manufacturers that suffer from sills still in this day and age where um, you get quite a bit of rust on them with the, with the protectors over the top it's just plastic and uh, it's not going to go rusty so that's a good idea there's cars in front of us today but that's a good section of road to uh, check the body roll and as you shift the weight from one side to the other load the, the front wheels you can see how much it's going to roll I don't think this is too bad brakes in a straight line no noises with no rattles no creaks Everything ni nicely finished. I, I particularly like this, certainly Swedish design centre console. There's uh, nothing at the back there. Buzzard up there. as I say all Volvo cars big thick rubber mats that the previous owner has been using uh, even though he's got the, the full matching set of carpets which are also match the interior the, uh, the, the black with the ivory piping around the outside 
So I, I've put the mats in, but there's a full set of Volvo mats, rubber mats that you can lift out in one piece and then just wipe or pour the, the dirt into a bin. They're like a tray, not a mat. meet a lorry on that corner and they always come in and leave you just enough wheel rooms to uh, smash your wheels on this curb Everything's nice, all the materials feel top class. Nice, nice soft leather or leather effect stuff there. And th this, your switch panel here, for your windows matches the dash center console. Showing you which direction we're heading here. Looks like an auto dim mirror as well. And life as one of the last the radio. I'm there. Uh, I'm probably going to struggle to show you how to use this parrot system because the Volvo headrest here, there's no room to mount my camera, which means I'll have to hold one camera and my phone and work the switch, which might be difficult. I'll persevere. Starbucks, I think. The Volvo there. I, I really can't see this car lasting very long in stock. Um, we uh, we try and buy cars that we like. When things don't want, when we're looking for stock and we've not got enough part exchanges coming in, and then John goes out, and tries to buy the best stock we can possibly get, and uh, we we'd go out and buy this car. If if we saw it for sale anyway, we'd go out and buy it, which uh, I, I would say is a good thing. And it's certainly good for resale value. I do know somebody who specialises in Volvo Estates and um, he swears by them. So long as I don't burn the clutch out there. There's a little switch for the parrot kit. 